More than 20 people are facing federal charges in connection to a kickback scheme impacting a government assistance program, and even more arrests could be on the way. U.S. Attorney Lawrence Key visited Panama City today to announce those indictments. News 13's Kayla Tucker is live in our studios now to explain the case. Kayla. Amy, multiple federal agencies were part of the 20 month long investigation that resulted in the arrest of 29 people. Some are current or former government officials. U.S. Attorney Keefe says this sweep should send a message to others who think they may be attempting the same crimes. The term see something, say something played a vital role in this federal investigation. The allegations giving rise to the indictment were first relayed by an employee of the federal government to the Office of Inspector General. The investigation revealed a plot to steal $373,483 in government funds. The conspiracy took place between May and December of 2017. Dwayne Crossan, who was then employed as a county executive director of the United States Department's Farm Service Agency, uh, responsible for monitoring uh, the activities in Bay, Holmes, and Washington counties here in the Panhandle, uh, devised a kickback scheme. Assistant U.S. Attorney Jason Cootie says Crossan used funds from what is called the Livestock Forage Disaster Program. Those government disaster payments are based upon the number of livestock as well as the acreage used to sustain the livestock throughout a qualifying drought. Crossan is alleged to have submitted these fraudulent claims reflecting livestock and parcels of land that he and his conspirators did not own or did not lease. Cootie says the conspirators deposited the money into their bank accounts, then allegedly gave Crossan cash kickbacks. The occupations of the co-conspirators are diverse, with many employed in state, local, and federal government positions. Their representative career fields include law enforcement, public works, health care, and retail sales, as well as one elected official. All 29 defendants appeared before a judge in Pensacola on Thursday afternoon. Since then, they have been released on different terms. Their tentative trial dates are set for January. Now you can see a full list of all 29 people involved and their charges on our website, mypanhandle.com. U.S. Attorney Lawrence Keefe says he expects to announce more arrests in the near future. Live in studio, Kayla Tucker, News 13, Panhandle Strong.